Hi, how all you hoes? It is I, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to the Tug Dick Show. Look at that Tug Dick leading for RBIs. Of course, that might be a little dated. Usually, that stat's a day or two off. He didn't have any RBIs in the last game. Last two games, he didn't have a lot of hits. He's not all right. How you all doing? Let's go play the Brewers. We just got done sweeping the Padres. We are two and a half games up on the Dodgers to lead the National League West. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Milwaukee Brewers and the San Francisco Giants. San Francisco Giants? Why, that's us! Let's go Giants. Why does that guy on the right look like he's got orange all on his face? I was eating clown ass! Dude, that's gross. This is a family show. In this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Cole Hamill's one of the top left-handed pitchers in the game of baseball. Early on in his career... Look at that 9-1 record. He's been getting that run support. Nice 2.85 ERA. His best pitch, the straight changeup. He's safe! He's safe! He's safe! He's safe! He's safe! Like that, it sounds like nobody believes him. He begins playing this one with his batting average over the 310 plateau. Runner on first, two outs. We're down by a run against Brewers. Wind's blowing in again. Here's the first pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And guys, we take a look at the Brewers entering play here tonight. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Hey, thanks, Matty V. Hey, d -Row. we've got a couple of teams playing some good baseball right now. Unfortunately, a winning streak for one of these teams is going to end today. But, boy, this is a great matchup here. Yeah, I'm excited to call this one. Ooh, that was close. Did two teams <laughs> playing top of their game count. right now. Really playing well. Both come in on winning streaks. We're going to see who's able to execute in this one. See if he lobs one down the middle or not. Ready with the 2-0 pitch. Shoots this one over. Yeah, right into the gap on the right. Well, it's nice to have a runner on. We got runners on first and second. There are two aboard now. This is the cat and mouse of baseball right here. Batter versus pitcher. You fight so hard as an offensive player to get count leverage. 1-0, 2-0, Check out the batting averages in those counts. And I think if the first baseman had touched it, it probably would have killed him. Brandon Bell. Come on, Brandon Bell. Get a hit. Last game, he had a bunch of RBI opportunities he did not take advantage of. Brandon Belt has come up in big spots like this more than once this year. I guess the RBI thing must still be up to date. Because it says he's second in the National League. That would make Dick number one for RBIs in the league. He's also way up there on the home run leaderboard. Jay at second. Part of the reason we're first place, having the top two RBI guys in the league on the same team. Hitting back to back. One ball and one strike for the that low. first baseman. And set up behind the dish is Gary Simmons, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. You know, Dero, Gary Simmons, he's, he's one of those umpires. He'll give you one finger or the other. At times, his zone <laughs> can be a little wider <laughs> than he's... Did he just say he'll give me one finger or the other? Whoa. He's a pretty consistent umpire. I just... I, I don't need him to figure me at all, thanks. You want to give him the inside half? I'm okay with that. But then you can't give him away. If you're going to stay east-west, you better pick one side. I heard the guy, I don't know if you could hear it, ever so slightly say, come on, Brandon. Swing oh, yeah! Had trauma for a second. Because of Brandon. Moss, nice! First to home. Good job by Bell coming through. He is now the RBI leader in the National League. It's another team's nightmare, right? That's their third hit of this opening inning. This one, a double. That's got to have that was perfect. The going the other way, go where nobody's the covering it. Digging in now for the Brewers, Brett Almanzar. He reached on a the single in his first. He's the czar of almonds. Oh, what? We up four-one. Thanks in to Bell's great hit. Here comes the 0-1. This one's flared out toward left. In there, a base hit. Boy, See, Tug Dick can be an asshole. But with like the RBI thing, he's rooting on his own guys because he wants to win. Piling up the hits, and we're just in the third inning. Yeah, their ears were open on both sides during the pitchers' meeting today. 
You would hope they are listening in the pitchers' meeting. Stepping up now, Tug Dick. He singled his last time up. One of the keys to secure. Nobody on. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. High in the air out to center field. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Makes the play one away. Center fielder catches it. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the big-time power bat of right-handed hitter Chris Davis. Oh, I hope we don't crush it. He's having a good day, though. Handles is ready. Oh, one pitch on its way. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Easy dick. Moves Whoa. over, <laughs> and that's the third out. What a junk lady in a bar would say. Gone in order of the Brewers. They trail it four to one. Posey Dickson belt. Come on, Posey, get on. So in now for San Francisco. Tug Dick. He flew out in his last at bat. Sadly, Posey did not get on. Nobody on. Last AB certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something. One out. Drive it out of the yard, this AB. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase. How dare you tempt me with your devil balls? Not close. They must be a little bit scared of Tug Dick pitching around him like that. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like this. 2-0 count. We'll see right here if he lays one in there to give him a pitch to swing at. Oh. Hey, Good fastball on the side. Right here. You can see Tug Dick was swinging through the fences right there. Things on his mind. This is on the oh, board. right at the first baseman, sadly. First for the you butt muffin. Tug Dick won for three. The Bottom of the eighth. We still have a nice three-run lead going on. New pitcher on the mound. Aggressive pitcher, too. Still the bottom of the eighth. Here's the 0 1. Oh, oh. Shot to third, and there are two away. <sighs> that sucks. Baseball gods have forsaken us. Grobdar! A little bit to the left, and that would have been a, like a double, probably. The right fielder. The Brewers Got down to their final. Good job by the third baseman catching that frozen rope, though. In the air to left field, and this should do it. We win! Sucking that, Milwaukee. I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves. We'll see oh, get rid of those stupid challenges. Up. Nobody cares. The only challenge that matters is win losses. Blackley gets another save. Cole Hamels gets the win. I just said that announcer, shut up before I punch you. That's an appropriate response, right? Saturday night baseball here on the show from I'm flying y'all in San Francisco Don't drop me. tonight game two of this three game weekend series between the Milwaukee Brewers and the San Francisco Giants Major League Baseball on the show is next the chain's got a creepy smile <laughs> Tejada, a Washington born right hander gets that ERA, ERA is and atrocious what do you got? but he got a winning record because we know how to score that sheet a very high whip coming into this start one of the things he's going to have to do a much better job keep traffic uh -oh. on the bases keep does not bode well when the first guy is going to hit it hard and already has a full count so far this year let's see if he can turn it around in this one Dick is right there as he puts it away no problem for the first down. Come on, pitcher, get settled down. With that, here's a look at the Brewers starting lineup. Danny, any thoughts? Well, Matt, I think the cleanup hitter might be the difference in this game. He leads the team in the two most important power categories for me, home runs and RBIs, driving in guys and Turn a lot of other power categories, dude. <laughs> Unless you want to maybe talk slugging percentage. And all these stats that exist for this thing, those are the ones I care about. And you see what he's done in recent action. Obviously, he's all about four. His last four games hitting right four, four, four. I'm not a robot who just got stuck in a loop. Boop, 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 boop. 
Top of the first one out. That's lifted the other way out to left. That was only the second batter of the game. This is not bode well when they're hitting the pitcher hard early. Now the Giants' number four batter, Tug Dick, one of the better hitters in the game this year, currently seventh in the National League batting race. What a powerhouse season in the top ten in home runs and runs batted in. He's also one of the most feared hitters in all of baseball. Raw. Runner on first. Two outs. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And oh, fuck this, fuck this game. Fuck this game. I think it was last last episode, too. I had another one of those. It was a deep warning track one. Just a little more power and it would have been gone. So frustrating right now. The balls just do not want to get out of here. Into the box now. Damian Chu. He reached on a single in his first try. In the air out to the left. Bunt from now on at every at bat. And that ends the inning. Dick's getting bitter. Nobody wants a bitter dick. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Posey Dick, then belt coming up. Come on, Posey. I hope you had got on second. No. Posey out again. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And there's Low and inside. Well off the plate inside. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring oh. pitcher's duel for once. <laughs> that was higher than I thought it was going to be. Will come in a bit and put it away Damn you, Ploof. In now, Martin Maldonado. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Still tied. Top of the fifth. Into the middle innings with no score. You think by Nobody wants to score in this game. Would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Dick comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Digging in for his second at bat, Freddy now Alvarez. Back. He looked to bounce back after striking Freddy. out his last time Alvarez. up. Yeah, Matt, One out, top of the fifth. Our pitcher's done better so far than I thought he was gonna. So far, you can tell he's uh -oh. just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment. Ah, right, Tug Dick out there, no problem. The play out there, and there are. Now with the play, Tug Dick. He flew out in his last at bat. Two outs. Runner on first. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit hard. Ah, line. A little early on that pulled it. For the first strike. Posey is off of first with two away. But a good Are you kidding me? Again, right at somebody. He caught that like on the his shoelaces. That girl looks so bored by the sign on the left. Yikes. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Here's Trevor Ploof standing in. And guys, We're stuck in one of those little ruts when you hit hey, I'm not the damn ball. And it's right at people. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all. Hey, train friends. Their defense to make Especially the, the creepy one in the back. Just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Tug Dick, 0 for 3. Had some good contacts. Uh oh, we're down by a run, though. No outs. Bottom of the ninth. Trying to deal a little too much right there. Tug Dick's getting frustrated. It's like, what more can I do? I've been making contact. He's <laughs> He's not going to make contact at this rate. You never want to take the aggression away from a ball player, but in this situation, I'd like to see the leadoff guy try and work the count a little bit more, especially when his pitcher's missing like he is. Count moves to a ball. Ah, Tug Dick's just getting now. frustrated. He's had so many decent contacts with the ball that have gone over at people. Hit on the ground toward the left. Alvarez fields it cleanly. Yeah, he's out at first. He's gonna be up to someone else on the team. Brewers win. Well one run game 
both hurlers battled and it's almost a shame play one more i'm so frustrated right now you know when you swing bad like that last at bat was admittedly bad because i'm getting frustrated i should probably stop now and take a break but when you're swinging okay like the earlier ones and you're just hitting at people that's so frustrating happy father's day everybody in-game Father's Day. On MLB Network, coming up right after this. Robbie Kelly will be the man on the He's got a 7-1 record, 3.36 ERA. Hey, Matt, this guy keeps his team in the ball game. He's won two of his last three starts, so he's been... The other thing I'm getting mad at is, look, nobody's on. He's the number three hitter. Where the hell are the our base runners? How often do we come up with two outs? Dan D. Rowe, these Brewers, as they begin play here this afternoon, four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, I'm, I'm, I've been... Donnie extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. And that'll ricochet off that brick wall and right. Digging hard. Going for three. There we go, finally. Oh, man, that feels so good. It's like having to take a crap forever. Probably not the best analogy. You know, like when you're on a car trip, you're like, finally. It has a little bit of everything. That's another one, though. Up a couple more feet, and it would have been gone. But I'll take a triple any day of the week. Come on, Belt. Get them home. Okay, come on, Posey. Apparently, Posey's sitting behind us. Posey's having a horrible series. 0 for 7. Three strikeouts. Come on, let's win the series, man. Get that dick home. Ball one. Ball too high to start him out here, one and zero. These are the moments you can't relax. You never know when you're going to be able to score a few runs off a great pitcher. Here's the spot right here early. Have to find a way. You're happy with one. Yeah! Even if it's an error, we'll take it. That's a one-run lead. Finally getting Tug Dick home. Good job, Posey. At least you put it into play so something could happen. Leading off the inning, Trevor Plouffe, and they'll need him to get something going here. We have a thin one-run lead, top of the second, no outs. This is in the air out to left field. It's kind of an awkward approach to it, but he got it. It's like he was thinking of going somewhere else. Time for a look at the San Francisco Giants on defense. And behind the plate, world champion, former MVP, former rookie of the year. He's done it all. Buster Posey. Buster is in full command of this pitching staff. This is the best lineup I think we've had in all the years. Largely because Moss isn't in it. Martin Maldonado, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Though I do miss Wolverine. Runner on second. One out. Still tied. They do have that runner in scoring position there, though. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Dick is there and he'll They don't dare test his arm. His arm isn't super strong for throwing. Ready now, tug Dick. He scored after tripling in his first plate appearance. What's he got in? Oh, the pitcher's on second. We got a runner run first. First pitch on its way. Outside. Played in a way there. One ball, no strikes. Kelly over at second. Jay at first, one gone. Oh, we should let that go. Trying to do too much. One one count. Good job of making him chase that pitch down below the strike zone. That's where you want to pitch when you're looking. Did not go this time. He got tempted though. Let's see if he comes high. Tries to change your eye level. Two one count. The two one. Oh, just a little early on that. Two two. He's in love with that slider right there. Oh, here's a fastball. Full count. Posey on deck. Posey. 
probably get a slider. And a fastball. Nope. <laughs> he misses though. Tug Dick is patient. Base is loaded. And that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about That dick is maturing nicely. In his earlier years, he would have swung at that and been out, most likely. Stepping in now, Buster Posey. Come on, Buster Posey. Strike one to Posey. Setting you up for some RBIs, man. Ducks on the pond. Bases are loaded here, one man out. One one. One strike. That man and his woman have the same coat. Are they both wearing a man's coat? Are they both wearing a woman's coat? High fly ball after straightaway center. That's gonna bring in a run. Gomez with the catch. Go 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 go! That's the pitcher running. Nice. Not often does the pitcher get a slide. Good job by Posey getting that sacrifice. We up 2 0. I'm not upset. We went through how many years of Brandon Moss choking there where he'd strike out or pop up to the infield? That was great. He got a run in, and now we got Belt up with you guys on. The RBI leader in the National League right there. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. Fastball. Well Ball one. Outside. Well, this is starting to feel like a make or break moment in this game. When you're playing a first place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. Hey, have a wrist at it up there, huh? Now the 1 0. -oh. Right side hit hard. Oh, no, 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 no. Throw ah. Gets him and the side is well, at least we got that one run. We doubled our lead. Take what we can get. Sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh my goodness. More oh my goodness. People having right fun. The, the things they do in San Francisco. Settle down, announcer. People like to have fun. So here's the cleanup hitter, Carlos Gomez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, I understand. Top of the fourth. No outs. We up to zero. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Dick will wait on it. One gone. Easy catch. What are you looking right, at, so Kelsey? For the Giants road to the show report. No one cares. I haven't been in the minors forever. Once again, Chris Davis. Nothing is those minor league teams. If you're from those areas, you know, it's it's fun watching a minor league game. I've already been to one this year. But right now we're in the middle of our own game. Out to left. Dick giving chase. He can't get there as it falls in. Well, you know what? Good hitters are good hitters for a reason, D Row. And to be able if to you did commentary at a bar, a singles bar, you would have commentary like that. Dick giving chase. Yep, he was blown by that guy. Tug Dick one for one with a triple and a run. He also had a walk. They should put that on there. That was very important. It helped set up bringing in a run. Runners on first and second. No outs. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That's not a bad pitch. A little bit of taken, but catches the outer third. Smith has tossed more than 500 innings at the big league level and logged in with an ERA in the low threes. All right, buddy, give me something else. Oh, and one count and the pitch hit the other way out toward right field. Luke has oh, that's <laughs> either run into third though. And it should advance the runner. We did our job. Got yeah, just a little bit under it though. If we'd been a little less under it, we might have hit it off the wall. But the important thing is we advanced the running. We did our job. Uh oh. They got runners in second and third. Two outs. We are up by two runs. 
swing oh, and a shit, 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 shit. Moving in, but he won't get no! In. Oh, God. Are you going to help center fielder? I think Dick made a big error there, but you could bother to help. Instead of judging me. And this, of course, is a ballpark that yields a lot of doubles as we take a look at the team leaders for the most two bases. Yeah, those are double. There wasn't an error there at all. Just one place off the top Not in the least. In that category. Uh oh, <laughs> tied ball game. Two outs. Runners on first and second. Almost, Maddie. Almost went deep his last day. B. Almost went deep left. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty. Oh, and he can't he's still not going to be able to beat it out. Oh, he did. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank Krobner, the baseball god. He shined on us. Thank God he is fast, too. If he wasn't fast, he would have been out. Base is loaded for Posey. Come on, Posey, help us out. Make up for Tug Dick's mistake in the outfield. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And Strike one. Looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. <sighs> Come on, Posey. Right. If you walk, now, if you get beamed, bullpen, if you get a hit, right any of those things would bring us the lead. Jay at third, Alonzo on second, Dick on at first with two down. Choo choo. Swing a ball. Get down, get down, get down. Yeah. This one open as this is down nice. He's gonna get three more RBIs. Posey. Is the now Whew, thank God. <laughs> Posey bailing us out. Ooh, we got a four run lead. All the things that are possible because of that error at first. Uh, they got Tug Dick on. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. And that'll be a base hit, so he delivers off the bench to get things started. He just needs three outs to win this thing. And I believe to win the series. I think it's a three game series. In today's game of loading up, leg kicks, toe taps, dropping the hands, trying to create launch angle, that high heater usually gets by. We win! Woot woot! Drama and excitement in the end. These guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. And this afternoon's game ends 7 to 3. Friends in the outfield. We continue to roll. That's like four or five games. Wait, no, not straight because we lost the last game. Never mind. <laughs> Still, this season continues to go great. We keep this up. We'll be the first team to 50 wins. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for hanging out. See you next time.